What's up guys, how's it going? It's always me, Francesco, and today of course I wanted to show you something so cool uh, that we have here at Fattoria di Montemaggio. Uh, we are here actually in the beautiful cantinetta, which is private by the way, uh, in the uh, Casa Padronale, and of course we are going to discuss about wine storage. Uh, so we will discuss about this topic, which is very, very important, uh, which is how to store the wine properly. Because of course, you know, if you don't respect certain kind of rules, you can um, have very you can have a very high risk of uh, damage for the bottle. Uh, so of course uh, later in this video, our uh, manager Ilaria Nikini, which is also our agronomist, she will explain you the correct uh, way to store the wine. But for now, we are here, of course, tasting uh, this beautiful quintessencia, uh, quintessencia from 2013. And I think this is the best place uh, to do this. Of course, this is a wine that um, requires a, a lot of time for the aging. It's a wine that, of course, um, want to be um, very, very, very well aged. Uh, we call it affinamento in bottiglia, so uh, the time that the wine spends uh, actually uh, aging into the bottle, which is perfect uh, to achieve certain kind of maturation, certain kind of uh, perfect balance in the wine. This is actually one of the best example we have here. Uh, this is 60% Merlot, 40% Sangiovese, as I told you from uh, 2013, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wine. 13.5% of alcohol, and we have this beautiful um, ruby color, intense ruby color. What about the nose? We have a little bit, of course, of um, spices, we have a little bit of red berries, we have a little bit of balsamic, uh, no, not like balsamic vinegar, but balsamic like eucalyptus mint um, coming from the Merlot, and uh, a little bit of um, letter notes coming from the Sangiovese. What about the mouth? In your mouth, of course, this wine has a good velvet titanium, there's a little bit of astringency, there's a bit of the mineral component from the Sangiovese, but also the much more fruity component from the Merlot. So now, of course, uh, Ilaria will start to discuss with you um, about the uh, correct way to store uh, the wine. Uh, of course, if you want to be professional, of course, you just need to follow this kind of rules. Uh, of course, uh, this is a phenomenal seller, of course. Uh, not, not everybody has this kind of seller in, uh, in his uh, house, but of course, you have uh, several, several uh, options. Uh, you can even store the one in your basement. The uh, only thing is just you need to um, respect certain kind of uh, rules. So, uh, right now it's the uh, Elias turn and enjoy. We, uh, we talk about uh, how we have to store the bottles so the bottles can be stand up or lie down. Why do most of the cells are lie down? Well, um, you have to know that usually when we bottle wines, the most of the producer put the bottles down. So in a way the cork that uh, it, it will be lie down will be in contact with the wine. So it will keep the wine, the cork humid and so quite uh, enlarged and so much more safe in terms of passage of oxygen. So if the producer would instead bottle and keep the bottles up, then you could store your bottles up. But I can tell you that rarely this happens. Most of the producer will uh, bottle and lie down the bottle. So if you keep going, uh, keeping the bottles down, what, is, uh, um, what happens? The cork will be wet and in a way a little bit bigger and so in a way less oxygen will pass into your wine and so the wine will be preserved longer. So if you want to be professional you should have something like this which is extremely cool with the right temperature and then with the right humidity. The soil, we have a beautiful cotto soil which is handmade and special. Of course and my feet are frost because here it's quite cool. It has to be isolated by the earth. But the thing is that uh, it should, in some cellar, they would have even stone with water to keep them humidity. But here we have a very sophisticated system. So in this case, we don't have this. When we talk about wine, 
uh, we speak about wine, we need to know how to store the wine. So okay. here is an ideal place. Of course, we are talking about the ideal situation. So at your place, sometimes it's not possible to follow all these rules. But the ideal temperature of conservation of wines is between 14 and 16 degrees Celsius, which is, I think, in Fahrenheit, if some of you knows better, is 54, 56 Fahrenheit. And it should be constant and dark. Then it's very important for wine evaporation and uh, for the aging, the humidity. So we should have a very humid uh, air. So the ideal would be 70-80% of humidity, which of course uh, it's very dangerous for the labels because the humidity so high can damage the label. But it's fantastic for the cork, which will be humid and so will reduce the evaporation of the wine. So let's say 60% is excellent humidity. So if you want to talk about the edel wort, the best would be to have a cellar like this, which is actually very cool. I would love to have it. I don't have such a nice one at all. Anyway, with about 60, uh, 14, 16 degrees temperature and a an humidity of 60, 70%. More than that would be great for the wine, but would definitely damage your label. So don't exaggerate to be too professional. Bye-bye.